Hi. Um, I just wanted to talk about Turner Syndrome and how I it has affected me as I've gotten older. I mean, compared to as when I was a kid. Um, when I was a child, um, Turner Syndrome really didn't bug me that much. I wasn't treated any differently than anybody really, and I got picked on a little bit, like about being short and stuff like that, but I don't think half the people at my school knew that I even had Turner Syndrome or what it was anyways, so I really can't say that it was probably Turner Syndrome related that they were picking on me, but it wasn't anything overly horrific that I wouldn't have been able to get over. Um, yeah, and like when you're a child you have a different set of mind, like you don't really think too much about anything and like your biggest worries is probably what toy to play with right um i know that that's what mine was i really didn't think about it much and about having ts and so i really didn't let turner syndrome bug me that much when i was younger but now that i've gotten older and i've become a full grown woman you know, there are certain things that you want in life, and one of the things is a child. I mean, I would love to become a mother, but that just isn't going to be possible for me, at least not naturally anyways. I'm not going to be able to conceive my own child, um, which is something that I wish I could do very much. I know that there's adoption and that's probably what I'll end up having to do when the time comes but you know I think that every woman would like to be able to carry her own baby and give birth to her own child but I'm just not going to be able to do that I mean I really can't change it or anything and it does make me upset because especially now that I've gotten older and I'm now 24 you know I would like to meet a nice guy, settle down, get married, and start a family. I mean, and as far as relationships go, as far as guys go, um, I just haven't really found anybody. I mean, I've had this ex-boyfriend, but he's kind of, uh, I really don't know. Um, but anyways, yeah. Most guys my age aren't into me. Because, I mean, look at me. I may be 24, but do I really look it? No. Um, I'm not really sure how old some might say that I look. I mean, I've heard 12, I've heard 13. Um, some people say that I look like I'm maybe barely 14, maybe 15. But, yeah, a lot of people guess way younger than my actual age. So it does kind of make it hard to meet guys when you look this young. And it's, you know, it's, it's tough, but what can you do? You know, so I really just, I don't, I try hard not to let it get to me. And for the most part, it doesn't. But like I said, as I've gotten older, it has been something that's been on my mind a lot. Oh, knocked over a DVD. Anyways, it is something that has been on my mind a lot as I've gotten older. Because, you know, I am at that age where... Like I said, I do. I want to settle down and start a family. And I would especially love to be able to have my own child. And someday, when and if I get married, um, I wouldn't expect my husband to spend the kind of money that it would cost to go to fertility clinics and things. Because I know people spend fortunes on that. And I mean, there's not even a guarantee that it, the procedure will take or that it will work. And... I know, especially with my situation, it could be very dangerous because of the fact that I have a horseshoe kidney, which means my two kidneys didn't separate the way that they were supposed to, and they're conjoined, kind of like this, it kind of shaped like a horseshoe, that's why they call it that, um, which probably pushing out a child would probably cause strain on my kidney because if you think about it I technically have one 
um, and my liver function is also not what it should be. So then there's also that to worry about on top of the fact that I have high blood pressure and high cholesterol. And I also have an abnormal heart valve and a heart murmur, I believe. I think that they discussed something along the lines of that. Um, I probably mentioned that in some of my other videos, but you know, just in case there are some people out there who haven't watched any of my later ones. Um, yeah. But because of those issues, I probably wouldn't be able to carry my own child anyways. I mean, I'd have to, even if it was a possibility, and I had gotten married and me and my husband had talked about it and discussed that we would try to spend the money, I mean, there's a good chance that I wouldn't be able to go through with it anyways. So really, going to a fertility clinic and trying in vitro and whatever, um, it's probably out of the question to begin with. So really my only option then is to either have a, I mean, I could get a donor egg from one of my siblings so that it would be a bit closer to have been my child, and obviously the sperm from my husband, and we could try that way to have like a surrogate mom, like implant her with the stuff, but I mean, that would be kind of risky, I mean, with some of the issues that come up with having a surrogate mother. I mean, I know that that can be kind of a risky situation to take. So that would probably most likely be out of the option. And so really my only option then is adoption. And it is a wonderful thing. It, I think that adoption is awesome. But yet at the same time, it's not the same as being able to have your own child. But that's probably going to end up having to be what I do. And it is, it's tough because, I mean, sometimes, being that I have Turner Syndrome, I may be a woman because it only happens to females, but yet at the same time I kind of feel like less of one, being as that I can't have my own child. I mean, I couldn't even get my period until I was 18, until I was able to start treatments and stuff, because I ended up starting treatments way late, but that's like a whole other story. But anyways, um, yeah. So, I like don't even have ovaries or anything, so I, it is, it, sometimes it does make you feel like less of a woman not being able to carry your own child. I mean, so I kind of have to deal like, deal with that too. I mean, and like the fact that guys avoid me like the Black Plague. I mean, it does kind of give you a complex sometimes. I mean, most of the time, you know, I just wake up with some shiny smile and face the day and stuff and try to stay my sunshiny, positive self only because, you know, there isn't a lot that I could do. And I know that if it's God's will for me to be able to have those things in life, like a husband and child and my own family and stuff, that I'm sure that he will provide that for me. As long as I you know I have faith, I'm sure that if it's meant to be, that it will happen. I just have to be patient and wait. But it is, it's tough. I, I mean, unless you have Turner Syndrome, it's kind of hard to understand, really, some of the emotional impacts that it can have on people. I mean, especially with getting picked on. I mean, there are some people that I'm sure that have had Turner Syndrome that have been picked on horribly. I mean, I've been one of the lucky few where getting picked on didn't affect me too much. But it, there is a lot of emotional things. I mean, there's other health issues, and some people with Turner Syndrome have ADD and ADHD and stuff like that. So it, there are a lot of things that play into it that can affect you emotionally and things like that. And it is. It's... It can be tough sometimes for people that have Turner Syndrome. And, like, I don't know too many people that have it myself, so that's why I've done this to put myself out there and to reach out to other people that have it. And, anyways, I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching my videos. I'll keep, keep trying to update. And comment and rate. Thank you. Bye.